Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Girish Nair, lead neurologist at Apollo Hospitals, Navi Mumbai. I'm here today to talk to you about Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a fairly common neurodegenerative condition. In fact, it's the second most common neurodegenerative disorder after Alzheimer's dementia. Why are we talking about Parkinson's disease today? Uh, today is a time where we have discovered some disturbing trends with respect to Parkinson's disease. It is one of the neurodegenerative conditions whose incidence and prevalence has been seen to increase in the last couple of decades. Uh, the exact reasons for this are, are under intense research. One of the possible reasons for this increase in incidence is the exposure to herbicides and insecticides, particularly paraquat. And it's heartening to note that the other, other major neurodegenerative condition, which is Alzheimer's disease, is actually on the decline or under better control. So this is one of the challenges we face with Parkinson's disease. Uh, in terms of the reasons why a person gets Parkinson's disease, the majority, the bulk of the uh, etiological burden uh, lies in conditions which are preventable. So it is related to lifestyle, toxic exposures that I just spoke to you about, and there is a small genetic factor as well. But this genetic factor, as I said, is extremely small. Uh, about 85% of Parkinson's disease is not genetic, it's not hereditary. About 15 to 17 genes have been identified that are linked with Parkinson's disease. And a person with a condition called young onset Parkinson's disease is more likely to have a genetic reason for you know uh, the Parkinson's disease. What are the symptoms? Now Parkinson's disease affects that part of the brain which is responsible for controlling movement, various aspects of movement. Parkinson's disease does not result into weakness or paralysis as people understand it, but it does cause tremors or shakiness. It causes problems with coordination. It causes changes in facial expression. It might cause your face to look mask-like. There could be changes in the pitch of the voice, the tone, sometimes difficulties with swallowing. One of the early features of Parkinson's disease is a decrease in the sense of smell. Uh, also, as the disease advances, especially 10 years after the onset of symptoms, Parkinson's disease can also produce changes in cognition and there could be forgetfulness, there could be changes in personality, there could be visual hallucinations, all of these things that occur with Parkinson's disease. Now, interestingly enough, the treatments for Parkinson's disease have gotten better and better. There are medical treatments that we offer all our patients and these treatments are very effective especially when they're taken properly and under a guide and under guidance in patients who have advanced parkinson's disease where the symptoms become refractory to uh, the medical management there is also the option of deep brain stimulation which is performed by a team of movement disorder experts uh, in terms of prevention what is it that any person can do to mitigate his or her risk of parkinson's disease the most important evidence comes from exercise Regular exercise, 45 minutes to one hour, preferably in the morning. Moderate to high intensity exercise, especially activities like running, cycling, stair climbing, etc., have a great benefit. Uh, certain uh, organic products, for example, Chinese green tea extract, caffeine, uh, and also having a healthy, balanced diet, especially some benefit has been seen for the Mediterranean diet with a lot of uh, organically grown fresh salad vegetables and decreasing the intake of saturated fat, red meat, and some dairy products. All of these are known to be protective for Parkinson's disease. So the moral of the story is we have a neurodegenerative condition called Parkinson's disease. Its incidence is seen to increase probably in line with toxic exposures. Prevention is certainly something everyone can do by paying attention to a healthy lifestyle. And for those who are diagnosed with the disease, the treatment frontiers are continuing to expand. Thank you very much.